Hi everyone, welcome back to Trees and Turtles. My name is Imogen and in today's video I am sharing how I completely changed my life in six months. Now if you're not really subscribed, make sure to do that, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and let's get started. So, firstly, the story. In the first six months of 2024, I completely changed my life. I moved to a different city, I started taking care of my health, I got a degree, I travelled to 10 new countries, I zeroed in on a career and I improved my mental health a lot. So, here's how I did it. Okay. Firstly, you need to recognise that sometimes changes happen slowly and all at once. Obviously, I didn't get a degree in six months. That would be bullshit. But I put in the groundwork for years previously so that I had an incredible six month run of everything working out in my favour, kind of across the board. Often when you see some, someone accomplishing a lot in a short time, it means they've been laying the groundwork for a really long time beforehand. So in that way, I guess... The title of this video is a bit clickbaity because yeah, you have to put in the groundwork, but at the same time, I feel like we often see people accomplishing a hell of a lot in a short amount of time and we're always like, oh my god, they're an overnight success, like how do they do that? Okay, this video is how and how you can also be an overnight success. So, know exactly what changes you want to make. Make two lists. You know if you've been on this channel for any length of time that I'm a huge fan of the list. Uh, but anyway, make two lists. Uh, one list of everything that comprises your current self and any problems that you currently have that you want to fix. And a second list with everything that comprises your future self and the ideas you have for solutions to your current problems. So, build your current self, build your ideal self, and now we're going to look at the differences. So the next thing you need to do is plan the logistics of the change meticulously. OK, so I knew that I was graduating in June and my student lease would be over. So I needed to have found somewhere to move to and have moved in by May. I wanted to have a little bit of overlap between the tenancies to allow me to move all my stuff and also just for my peace of mind, because I'm naturally a very anxious person. Um, so I aim to sign a lease in April, have my finances sorted for the move by March. OK, and new flat. Uh, so if you want to have a life changing six months, you need to start with the end, start with where you want to be and like work backwards. Does that make sense? OK, so you need to plan the logistics of the change meticulously. And my next point is actually related to that. My next point is to build in buffer time. OK, it turned out that several aspects of my plan took longer than I expected. And this always happens. OK, guys, I'm not going to I'm not going to kid you here. It's really annoying and it gets me. And it's something about productivity that I really don't like. And I try to avoid as much as possible. But sometimes and often your goals will take longer than you plan or you expect or you hope or you want. OK, so you need buffer time. I'm sorry. Anyway, I also kind of expected the aspects of my plan to take longer. So I kind of expected some stuff to get a little bit messed up along the way. So I built in buffer time and it ended up not being a big deal. It all worked out. OK, my next point, and this is kind of more to do with self-discipline. Don't let anything distract you. OK, and don't let unexpected negative events throw you off. I'll not, I'm not going to lie. Some really unexpected stuff happened in the first half of 2024. And I've covered some of that in my worst things that happened to me at uni video. So if you're interested, go check that out. But some really unexpected stuff happened um, in my like private life as well that really threw me off emotionally. Uh, but I never let it affect my goals. I mean, obviously, yes, it did affect my goals, but I made a conscious effort to kind of isolate that stuff from me working on my goals. Um, I drew all my healthy coping mechanisms and kept going. So that looked like journaling, music, therapy, um, taking better care of my health. OK, all of those healthy coping mechanisms that I've developed and that I can draw on in times where I'm just a bit like emotionally dysregulated. Anyway, so the lesson from this is make sure you have resources which you can draw on if things happen which affect you and could affect your ability to stick to the plan, because sticking to the plan is essential if you want to have an awesome six months of everything working out for you. OK, and my next tip kind of related to the last one is to be relentless. OK, I talk about this all the time. In fact, I should probably like have a poster with be relentless on or something in my apartment. Literally, that is how important it is. OK, seriously, keep going. The first six months of 2024 were some of the busiest and most taxing that I've had in a really, really long time. And at times I felt like I was wading through tar like upstream in a hailstorm or something. Anyway, whatever like difficult mental imagery you can conjure up. Anyway, I knew the only way out was through. So I just kept going because there was literally no other option. 
okay? I mean, I get people talking to me and saying, oh, you did this, you achieved this goal, and that's great. And I'm like, thank you so much, but there was literally no alternative. Um, being relentless isn't fun in the moment, but it produces really great results. So be relentless, I guess. And finally, keep looking for ways to improve. Although I've changed a lot of stuff about my life and I was incredibly grateful, I'm not gonna say lucky because it was a plan that I worked hard on. I was very grateful that everything worked out so well the first six months and the first six months of 2024 completely changed my life, like completely did. Um, although I've changed a lot of stuff about my life, I am always looking for more ways to improve. Like this is not going to be the last time I have a six month run of changing my life. Okay. So it's a constant evolution. Like self-improvement is a constant iterative process. Okay. I'm always looking for more ways to improve and to push forward to my next transformation. Life is a process of continuous improvement and I hope I'll be able to completely change my life again to be even better in the future. Okay, so that is how I completely changed my life in six months, kind of. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do that. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.